My name is Melnicia Marshall and I'm the Product Standards and Goods Manager at the St. Kitts Tourism Authority. And right now we are here on location at the beautiful Port Zante, which was constructed in 1997. We know that Bloody Point is a very popular site because of the massacre of the Kalinagos. And we do know that that massacre took place in 1626 and that was as a result of both the French and the British coming together to massacre the Kalinagos, which was an, an unfortunate incident, but it's a very important part of our history and our heritage as a people. Because as we know, the Kalinagos were the first ones to inhabit the island. And so after that massacre, we were only left with the French and the British. Well, believe it or not, Charlesport is in the town of Sandy Point, which is where I went to high school, the Sandy Point High School, which is now known as the Charles E. Mills Secondary School. But Charlesport was constructed in 1670, and it was a fort that was used to defend the Sandy Point Anchorage. Sandy Point was very well known for trading in those times. And so after that, as a military fort, it was then used as an asylum, a leper asylum, and it was only closed in 1996 when the last leper died. Yes, they are very, very important. And I know that everyone knows of Brimstone Hill, and so we've tried our best to protect Brimstone Hill. However, Charles Fort, because of the fact that it was the first fort before even Brimstone Hill that was laid in Sandy Point, it is very important that we understand that it has a very important place in history. And if we're able to develop the site, it adds to the attractions that we are able to offer to our guests when they're here. Many of our cruise visitors only go to Brimstone Hill, Black Rocks, Caribel, Bati. But if we're able to develop Charlesport, then they will also be able to go to Charlesport, understand the history of Charlesport, and that will provide jobs for the many persons in the community of Sandy Point and the neighboring um, villages as well. Yes, I do. I'm a very proud um, individual when it comes to my areas of development and Sandy Point is one that is dearest to my heart. It has also been saddening to see how our nationals have been using the rocks and the stones um, and removing them from that site to develop their homes. Yes, we want beautiful homes, but we also have to protect our history and our heritage because that is what makes us unique. We are the mother colony of the West Indies and we need to have something to pass on to our generations to show for it. I do believe that public awareness is needed and if we're able to work together to, to develop programs to bring some awareness to these areas, the sites such as Bloody Point and also Charlesport, then I do believe that our nationals will understand the importance of protecting these sites and not just removing them because of you know the beauty that they can bring to us. Uh, so I would recommend that we have a public, a constant public awareness campaign going on that speaks to our heritage, the importance of our history, and how it could benefit us today as a people because of the attraction that it could bring for our guests and so that we are able to showcase what makes us unique as a destination. I would suggest that it may not take as much effort as Brimstone Hill has, but I would like to see us restore it, bring it to life, and make it an experience for our visitors. How would we do that? That might take a little bit of our heads coming together, but I do believe if we can bring it to life and explain um, the importance of it, then we, it, it, it could have an added value to it as an attraction site. Well, in 1492, Columbus did visit the island of St. Kitts, and when he came, he met the Kalinagos, and that opened up the doorway for the Europeans to come in, because right after, you had the British and the French following in, and it's because of that that we were able to be developed, and that gave way to our tobacco and our sugar cane. And so the importance of 1492 to us as a destination is that it speaks to our development as an island, as a people, and the fact that we have been able to sustain ourselves from the input that has been made from the European um, countries back then.